Hello, ma'am. Hi, my name is Theopolis Brown. And I would like to talk to you today about my life story. I have six kids. One of my kids, I like, I like to have on the street. I like to have her in Suburban Station. <laughs> and it was very hard because they took her away from me from the hospital. They took all my kids away from me from the hospital. Only one child I got to raise, and that was my oldest. And it was very hard because I had to bring my mom back to life. I had to do CPR on my mom. I found my father for dead. And my family on my father's side has not forgiven me. They thought my, they actually think that I killed my father, and I know I didn't. I actually tried to bring my father back, but I couldn't. I have six kids. I got my credentials on the street. I'm a certified peer specialist. And I just got my credentials this year. Mm -hmm. So it's been a lot going on right now. I had to take my landlord to court because I got, I got sick because she, she painted over the mold in my apartment. Mm. So I'm on the street again. And it's being, being as though I'm on the street again is being, is very, very hard. <coughs> like, it's very, very hard. Are you currently dealing with drug addiction? Yes, I am. I smoke crack, smoke weed, smoke K2, and I smoke dope. I just started smoking dope from being a clean, a week clean from the again. Because I tried it and it didn't work. The leg cramps really got to me. I thought it was going to be like easy. It's not. Uh, I thought the subs was going to help. The subs do help when you take them, but I didn't have that many to take. So when I go back to my doctor, I got to tell him to up my dosage again. So. What's your current, or well, what's your uh, drug addiction daily? Like what's your, how many drugs? My, my drug that? addiction daily is crack cocaine mm -hmm. and uh, heroin. How often are you using them substances daily? I use crack cocaine all day heroin like once a day because i have to have it because i get sick and i'm sick now mm. sorry to hear that how long have you been on the streets for i've been on the streets now for almost two and a half months what's it like out here on these streets it's hard i when i first came back out here i had four phones all four phones got stolen from me have so you, I reached out to was my brother, yeah. and that's the only one that comes down here and checks out, checks up on me. Your brother comes out here and checks up on you, yes. so he know he, he knows, knows your circumstances. That he knows my circumstances and everything, but I don't like living with my brother. Me and my brother could not stay in the same house too long together. We'll end up fighting. How did your drug addiction start? The crack started when I lost my kids, when I lost my my first two kids, when I was 19 years old. I lost them to not having stable housing. And my cousin said she was supposed to have been taking them to Disney World. And she called DHS on me. Mm -hmm. And from then on, my kids been taken from me through the system ever since. How were you introduced to the substance? Wrong place, wrong time. Just by? Being in the wrong place, being around the wrong people. Wrong people, right. And that was at the age of 19, you said? Mm hmm And I'm sorry, how do I pronounce your first name? Theopolis. Theopolis. I like it. It's unique. It's a biblical name. It's a city in Greece. It's pronounced in the Bible, Theophilus. If you look in the first book of Acts, you'll, put, you'll see it. It's in the first, the first scripture. 
Okay. So what's your thoughts on how you going to turn this all around? I, Get back on the right track. I actually am trying to get my life back on track. I'm actually trying to use my credentials as I can, uh, trying to get clean and trying to use my resources, trying to do something. But it seems like it's getting harder and harder every day. It seems like it's getting harder and harder every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. What's the craziest thing you've witnessed or seen out here? Actually, I witnessed and seen somebody get stabbed in front of me. Mm. And I had to actually save their life. Mm. Putting pressure on the stab wound. Mm. The bull poked him like 20 something times and I was standing right there. The bull collapsed in my arms. Did he make it? Yes, he did. That's, that's love. He made it. Save life. And I see that bull to this day. You know, that's, that's deep. Well, Theopolis, I hate to um, have to end the interview, but it's, it's about that time I, I got to go. It's kind of a little hectic out here. Yeah. You see how I'm yeah, moving yeah, around yeah. and everything. Yeah, I can't really I focus. But, but I thank you for letting me do this. And when I see you out here, when I catch you again, we're going we gonna to really chop it up. We're going to really talk about this and try to get okay. you to help you. God bless you, Theopolis. Thank you. Hi guys, USA Fox here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.